Do you see me right now? I look absolutely insane. Let me tell you guys what just happened. I was on my way to the gym. I got in my car, started driving. I got like 15 minutes away and I was like, I'm not going today. I'm not gonna go to the gym today. I don't feel like going. I really do want to go work out to like feel good, but I feel like physically, I feel disgusting today. I feel this way every time it's about to be that time of the month, but today I'm just like, I didn't shower this morning. I just washed my face and left. I didn't even brush my hair as you can tell, and I'm breaking out like crazy. So today, guys, we are having a pampering day, and we're not gonna feel bad about it because I really, really need this today. You know what? Being a mom, I am always on the go. I am always doing something and usually it's not for me. So I just decided to take advantage of the moment. Mateo's at school. I'm gonna use the next couple of hours to just take a shower, wash my hair, do a face mask, paint my nails, just so I can feel better about myself. And I feel like we all need this, even if you're not a mom. Do it. Okay, so I haven't showered yet because I decided to do a hair treatment beforehand. I'm doing Olaplex, so you leave this in your hair for a minimum of 10 minutes, but I'm gonna do 30. I've used this once before, but I don't think I used it correctly. Basically, you wet your hair, you towel dry it, then you put it on, and then you shampoo and condition. And you're supposed to leave it on for like a good amount of time, so I'm gonna do it right this time. I put it all over my hair and just put it up in a bun. And I'm gonna sit down and watch some Grey's Anatomy and just, ooh, it just got so dark. And just enjoy my morning. I feel so much better already. I just showered, I deep conditioned my hair. I feel like a brand new woman already. And I have two masks on my body right now. I'm using this mask on my face, which I got at TJ Maxx a while back. It's honestly not my favorite, but I don't have a lot of face masks right now. And I have a mask on my butt. <laughs> It's by the brand Anise, and it's called Down With The Thickness. I actually got this a while back as well, and I just don't wear it often because I don't really find a use for it. But I thought, today I'm pampering myself, so I might as well just be super extra, so this is on my butt right now. I'm about to make some lunch and then brush my hair and head out to get Mateo from school. I also have a few things to do today because at the end of the week, I am going somewhere very exciting, which you guys are gonna come with me. Look who it is. Why do you look so cute right now? I just went to pick him up from school and I had to come back and change him because we're going to the mall, but then right after we're going to his practice. I'm, I'm going to Nujutsu. This is my new gi. This is my new belt. So I got this new belt with a little bit of black over here. This is my new, this is my new shirt. I can really that when I try to put it on. And look how I put it on. And that's how it sizes. And it's, it's a little smaller. The other one was a little big for me. Also, I just realized I haven't shown you guys my house recently. Okay. But first, Mato wants to show you guys something. It's This is sloth yogurt. Sloth yogurt? It's a limited edition, um, like, gogur. And look at all of these. That sauce. is adorable. Gogur was actually kind enough to send us that. And also, he's obsessed with them. Do you remember? What? My Ryan toys. Your Ryan toys. Also, Ryan sent him some toys. But we opened that on his Instagram so you guys can go follow him. Anyway, I want to show you guys my new couch. A lot of people since I moved into this apartment have said that it's not as cozy as my old one. And by a lot of people, I mean like you guys have commented that and it looks very white, very cold. And I completely agreed. And for over a year, I was trying to figure out how to make this apartment feel more like a home. So I initially ended up getting a new rug. So I got a white rug for here. And then the rug that was here, I moved it to the dining room. I'm so sorry about the mess right now. I moved it to the dining room and that ended up working a lot with like making the apartment feel less cold, I guess because I put rugs down, it looks cozier. And then I decided to get a new couch because my couch, I've had it since my very first apartment. And the couch um, was purchased by my mom and my grandma. They actually gifted that to me when I moved out. But it was very small, it was very dirty. So I was like, you know what? I think it's time to get a new couch. I feel like I deserve it. It's my Christmas gift to myself. And so here it is. It's huge. It is a restoration hardware dupe. So if you guys, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen the restoration hardware like cloud couch, which is like $12,000 that I was not willing to spend. This one is from City furniture and apparently 
the uh, couch is manufactured by the same people as the restoration hardware one. I know that it's white. All of these cushions, like the covers, come off and you can wash them in the washing machine. So no worries. It still looks very clean and I've had it for like two weeks. I know two weeks doesn't seem like a lot, but I have a kid and I have a dog. Both who are very messy and the couch is still pretty clean. But I think I've just like made more of a conscious effort to keep it clean because it's white. Excuse you. Also, I finally put my Christmas stuff up. I put my little um, stockings right there. The tree is so big, I didn't even know where to put it. So I moved this to the side and then just put it in that corner. And obviously that's where it's gonna stay, but I had such a hard time trying to figure out where to put it because my new couch is so big that it takes up the entire wall over here so I can't put it next to it. And I have no more space anywhere in my house. So it's right there. I also got a bigger TV. Actually, it was gifted to me by my amazing girlfriend. Since I have a new couch, um, I figured a new TV would be ideal because my old one was very small on my wall. And I just love the cozy vibes right now, even though everything's a mess. But I just feel a lot like happier in this home than I have in a while because I have furniture. I have like furniture just changes everything. Also, if you guys have any suggestions on where I can find artwork, let me know. I want to find something bigger and I think this one I'm going to move to my room because it's just too small again for the huge couch. This is the song I did at school on this Friday. If you want to download my videos, you can download them and we're going to do a lot more videos of my darling mom. <laughs> That's crazy, right? Feliz Navidad! Feliz Navidad! Feliz Navidad! Prospero año felicidad. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. That's my crazy part. Enjoyed my mods and my video. You can subscribe our videos and we can do a lot, lot more. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> okay, wait, we're not ending this vlog yet. That was a beautiful performance. All right, our first stop of the day is done. It's already five o'clock in the afternoon. It is the most beautiful day outside today. I know you guys can't even tell and it's like chilly. It is my version of cold. I live in South Florida and it is, it is 60 degrees right now. We just went to Old Navy. For myself, I got some thick socks in black and some in white. I got Mateo some socks because because he needed some more socks. It's just that all his socks were too small for him. I got him a little Christmas shirt for Christmas Eve. It has little dinosaurs on it with like sweaters on. It's so cute. And these little pajamas. It says, you can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I think this is so like, it's so him. And the last thing I got, some gloves with some little texting tips for what you might ask. I guess you're gonna have to stay tuned. So this is a Colorado story. My best friend Mariana and I arrived on a very snowy and cold day at 3.30 in the afternoon. We checked into our downtown Denver hotel and went to explore the city by foot. Of course we had to do some Colorado activities, if you know what I mean. Here's a dysfunctional video of that night while we were touring some houses by ourselves. Oh, I wanted to see the other side. It's so beautiful. Look at that. Look at what is that? Oh my god, look at this. Oh, what? No oh my god, it's so beautiful. <gasps> look at the tree over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh so happy god. we came. These are huge. Wow. <laughs> they were indeed huge. And the next morning, it was breakfast time. Hi. The morning, we're eating breakfast. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Thank you, Denver. <laughs> they like 
decorated it with a piece of ham and, <laughs> and pepper on top. <laughs> they decorated mine with a lettuce and a, <laughs> and a warm orange. A warm orange. We also got coffee. I got a peppermint mocha. I got a caramel brulee. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it up. Started it up. <laughs> pouring out of my mouth. <laughs> the, the tree has snow. We're in a Christmassy area, that's why. We're in a very Christmassy area. Florida is really not Christmassy no. at all. Well, plus it's like hot in Florida. It doesn't feel like Christmas. Everyone, uh, we went to see houses last night and everybody had their house decorated. Mm -hmm. They have the huge, huge like decorated trees, yeah. It's so cute. And the biggest houses. The biggest houses ever. They were like enormous. They were so nice. <laughs> so nice. We should go we back. Should... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should. <laughs> <laughs> Do we look ugly eating? <laughs> yeah, this is not going anywhere. <laughs> what happened? Did you just drop it? <laughs> I just detoned it the whole bread. I got chai. And then why are we chewing? Chewing like that. It's just. <laughs> That day we explored more of the city during the day and stumbled upon a protest for Casey Goodson So we decided to stay for a while Later we headed out to the mountains towards a popular city in Colorado called Breckenridge And just the ride up there was magical There's like people in that house staring at us We stopped in a neighborhood to take pictures and TikToks And then it was time for the sleigh ride and some amazing hot chocolate We warmed up next to a bonfire and actually finished our hot chocolate before we even got on the sleigh. There were two giant horses pushing this way and a small group of people. The horses were so beautiful. So beautiful. My hat is covered in snow. I can't feel my fingers. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Hello. Scraping up the snow in the car. <laughs> We were not made for this, we are Florida people, but look, we're pushing through. So you couldn't really hear what I was saying here, but basically I said that it was 6.58 in the afternoon and it was already pitch black outside, and we had a scary ride back down the mountain. When we finally reached civilization after a few minutes, we decided to stop at the Breckenridge welcome sign to take some pictures, but it was freezing. It was the coldest it had been since we got to Colorado. Oh no! You left me! <laughs> Oh my god! I can't feel my feet. The ride back to Denver was terrifying. I was driving back down and I had never ever driven in snow or ice before and suddenly there was a blizzard. So it took a really long time to get back to Denver, not to mention we were starving. But we made it back safe and sound and decided to stop at a place called Canes or Raising Canes. I hear about it all the time from like YouTubers located in the west coast. And the next day, it was time for some tattoos! I ended up getting the word cowboy on my arm. Don't ask me why. And Mariana and I both got 1997 tattooed on us. I got it on my knee. And 1997 is the year we were born. That day, we went on a tour to explore more of Colorado with a very small group. It was like six people. This day, we had some Apache. And then uh, a little bit further up into the mountains, we had the Ute. So we went to several spots, including the Red Rocks. <laughs> A place 
place where a man named Buffalo Bill is buried. There was a whole story to that. Call him mule deer because of his big old donkey ears. There's actually three. There's that one tucked so in the bush cute. right there too. And also a tiny city called Golden, which of course reminded me of Golden by Harry Styles. So I was very happy to be there. <laughs> the tour was absolutely amazing. We got to learn so much of Colorado's history. And after a short but amazing trip, we had to head back home. But my heart did grow a little bigger for Colorado and all its amazing sites that I cannot wait to explore again in the future. I so desperately want to go back to Colorado specifically just to go skiing and tubing and snowmobiling. Anything that has to do with snow. I think it's just beautiful. I live in Florida so it doesn't snow here at all. It doesn't even get really cold. I mean it gets my version of cold but that was very cold. Anyway, I enjoyed it a lot and the people there are so different and just the vibes are just super different. Everybody's a lot nicer there. Going new places is always just, it's always so amazing to see the difference. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is going up today on um, Christmas Eve. So I hope you guys have an amazing holiday and I can't wait to be back with more videos. Also, you will find out why I haven't posted in a few weeks. That's another story, but I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to see more of my adventures before I ever post them on here. But that is it. Um, bye. Subscribe. Like this video. Bye, guys. Bye, ugly. Okay.